Hey, it's Nick with Table 19 Media. I wanted to show you how I use how I use M Tracker 3D with Motion VFX to create uh, 3D titles within the video tour. Um, previously, I used Pixel Film Studios um, Tracker um, plugin, but um, uh, it's been just acting up and uh, just acting acting weird with uh with my system so i decided to give the uh, m tracker 3d uh, a try they've had that plugin out for about uh, probably about a year um, and um version 2 was just released a little bit ago so uh i've been playing around with that and um so far i really like it it's a little bit different than uh pixel film studios um, tracker plugin um got a little bit different quirks but um overall i think if you wanted to add some really nice titles to your video tours that Inter, you know that are nested inside the 3d space of, of the uh, video of the environment I think it's a really good uh, really good look so I'm going to show you how to do that and we'll, uh, we'll get started now with this clip I already have a video tour edited so what I'm going to do is actually just uh, use this section this clip right here going from in here so this whole clip right there before we get to that clip so in order to use this plugin, normally what I would do is apply this to just that clip in the timeline, but since they're all joined together because it's the final video, what I'm gonna do is hit B to um, get my cut tool. And I'm just going to move forward until I reach the very first frame of that clip and go all the way, all the way forward. And we'll just go back until we reach the first frame of that clip so now we have this whole clip right here that is just this one shot so we'll go ahead and drag M Tracker 3d to that clip and so then we get this we get this screen so basically it's just going to you know track um, track the footage on um, you know all inclusively um, with the Pixel Film Studio plugin, normally you would have to, you know, set a point for it to track, and then use that point, you know, wherever that would be, whether on the wall or you know a corner, and then it would uh, track that point through the whole thing. This way, you just hit track, and it will basically track everything in the screen, and then um, we'll set our points afterwards. So let's go ahead and hit track, and let it do its thing. All right, now that that has finished up, we can go ahead and copy that track. And then now we can drag the title that we want from the M Tracker title library that came with the plugin. And let's go ahead and select that. And then now we can hit paste track. And so what that's gonna do is Take all the information and paste it in there. So now we're gonna hit, hit this crosshair and we can click anywhere in here and it's gonna place, you know, place the, the, the title in 3D space. Uh, I'm gonna end up placing it right out here. I'm gonna hold down shift. Put it right there. Now it's facing me. I want it to actually face and go with the, the same way as these plank floors are facing. So when I go over here, go to content rotation. Right now it's only set to where if I you know, change this, it's gonna rotate it all wonky. I don't want that, but if you click this arrow, it gives you all three axes to rotate it on. We're only gonna, I think we're only gonna need to use the Y axis. Yeah. And turn this so that it's gonna be facing the same direction as the rest of the room. And so as we're turning this, we can actually use the lines of the floor to make sure that that is facing the right way. That's uh, just lined up so the the perspective is the same. And it looks that looks pretty good. And then uh, under content position, we can just raise that up if we want, so it's hanging out. And uh, and we'll see how this 
this will move, even if we want to move this, move it closer. So that we get a little bit more, so we can see it's floating, you know, past the door, get a little bit more depth, depth perception on that. Actually, let's move it down just a hair, so we get a little, it's clipping a little bit of the floor. I like it, and so we can actually probably scale this up just a hair. And we're gonna go down and just put the four beds. I'm gonna keep this all capitalized. Four beds, four baths. That looks good, all right. So now let's go ahead and play that. All right, now I will say that I'll have the animation in, but I want to keep it so it doesn't animate out. It just stays solid through the whole thing. Let's go ahead and keep this selected and go up to modify and render selection, just so we can see what it looks like without all the extra boxes around it. See how we get a nice smooth playback. All right, and we'll click off of this so that it That looks that looks pretty good. Now we also have it also has a built-in shadow that we can see right there because it's lifted off the ground. I don't think we're necessarily going to need to have a shadow on there. So if we go down here, we can just uncheck the shadow and play that back. It's just nicely, nicely suspended in the air. Let's do this for one more clip. And it's this one right here. So we're going to hit B to get our cut tool. Go to the first frame of this clip. Clip that. Find the first frame of the next clip. Clip it right there. We'll run this whole thing all over again. that. Alright, that is all done. So we'll go ahead and copy that track. Let's go ahead and add a new a new title. And we'll select that and paste that track in there. That just takes just a, a second. And we're gonna, we're gonna hold down shift, keep it right, keep it straight. Paste it right there. And we'll go ahead and scale this down. And change the the text to six hundred square feet. Can actually move. Let's go ahead and actually move this a little forward a little bit, and we will scale this down. Alright, and let's go ahead and play that back. Alright, so with this one, we're probably going to get rid of the animation in and the animation out. So as you can see, it is tracked pretty well. I don't know if I'll have to do a whole lot with it. Now we do need to notice that the built-in shadow is facing that way. We actually have light more coming in from behind here. So what we're going to do is, is bring this shadow around to the front. So let's go down to shadow or light. Light rotation. And we will 
adjust all of that. And we'll adjust the light intensity. That'll be good. And if we go down here to the shadows, we need to adjust the light rotation a little bit less so that it lines up with those windows coming in from here and hitting those those letters. All right, and we'll increase that shadow softness. Something like that. Let's go ahead and render that selection so we can watch it back and see what that looks like. All right. Cool. So again, simple, simple way, but that just adds a little bit just more, uh, more finesse, more production value to your, to your video tours. All right, I'm gonna be doing a deeper dives into this plugin just to finesse it a little bit more, see what, see everything that it can do to help your video tours look even better than they already are. All right, I hope this video has been helpful. Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure that you check out the new course that we've put together for uh, real estate photography, video, and drone that teaches you everything that you need to know in order to start a business like that or even grow the business that you already have. I'm Nick with Table 19 Media. I'll see you in the next video.